Before we continue, I have an announcement to make. Many of you know the 100 build contest the Square Enix team held for Dragon Quest Builders 1. You can find 100 different builds of many talented people on the material islands of Dragon Quest Builders 2. I want to do a similar contest before the 12th of July when the sequel launches. So, if you love to build and want to show your creation to the Dragon Quest Builders community, you can submit your Dragon Quest Builders 1 summoning stone code. I will pin my own comment about the contest and you can answer to that with your code. Please respond to this comment, otherwise I can't guarantee that I will see it. You can only participate if you are a subscriber of my channel. The deadline for the contest is the 1st of July. After that I will look through all of your submissions and select the most creative, beautiful and outstanding ones. All submissions will be shown in a picture slideshow with a shout out to the creator. The top 10 builds will get their own video where I will walk around in your creation and review it. If you are fortunate enough to secure a place in the top 3, you will each win one $10 or an equivalent value in your currency as a PSN or eShop card. The first place will even get his own video where we'll rebuild his masterpiece on my island in the English version of Dragon Quest Builders 2. I will also put all the infos of this contest in the description below for those who have trouble with my German accent. You better not. <laughs> so, I wish you all the best of luck and I'm looking forward to all of your marvelous builds. Let's continue with the video. Hello and welcome everyone. So I'm back with a new how to build video and we will make a wooden house. Perfect. And uh, yeah, I already did the blueprint of the house. Here you can see what's so special about wooden houses. Uh, they are built with those wooden beams. Those. And I already did all the pinpointing where the wooden beams would be. And here I can show you the di dimensions, the distance between the wooden beams. So here we have like five, four, and again five. We often have uneven numbers because we need to have wooden beams right under the roof. So we have a support beam for this roof. So here we also have five. And here again we have four. And uh, this one is also five, like the over there. And here those two longer ones are each seven. Seven and seven. So, let's start the build, shall we? First we give each pillar an additional stone. Ah, but wait, we can also do this. So this is like the foundation of our wooden house. So some more over there. And this is where the chimney will be. I think we'll create it over here. So now let's make the floor. So we have like an entrance area, a patio, and the inside of the house. It will have two levels. So here will be some staircase leading up. And I think we'll also make a bridge over that dried up river. <laughs> and some stairs leading up here. So the grass is not visible. We'll lay down some more over here. Way some stairs. Way. Okay, <laughs> now onto the floor. So I think for the patio and the entrance area, we'll use those cobblestones. Those always look pretty nice. Ah, uh, now we have two tricks because I can't 
put it down over here. So we need one more over here and one more over there. And for the inside I wanted to use uh, this wooden block because I haven't used it so, so often. I want to give it another chance. We'll just overwrite those. Overwrite? Overwrite? Yes. And now we can work on the entrance. So the door, I think we can do it like this or like this. Hmm. I like it when the door opens to the outside of the house. place down those wooden beams everywhere. Ah, and here we can use uh, the other stone texture. Hmm, I don't know if we leave it elevated like this. Hmm. We'll see. Or remove it. Let's remove it for now. So we'll make those one smaller. Ah. I love the weather. I love the weather in Dragon Quest Mills <laughs> too. <laughs> and to gain a bit more height, we'll use the builder's eye. And now we can connect all wooden beams at the top. Oh, what is this? What is this? better. And here we have to trick a bit, because um, and when you want to connect something from the side, it will look like this. So you will have a little gap. So to prevent this, We'll do it like this. We need to go around the corner before we go over another block. Another wooden beam. And now when you connect it, it looks like nothing happened. but you can place it here, so we have to start from here. So this here is wrong, so now we need to fix it. And also this one. And I really can recommend the Builder's Eye. So if you get Dragon Quest Builders 2, the first thing you want to do is complete all the challenges and collect all the, the puzzle medals. So if you have all 90 of them, you will unlock the Builder's Eye. So how do we connect those? Mm, now I need two tricks. And one more. Looks like something. Something is going on over here. So now you have something looking like this. Which is pretty neat. Hey, wake up! I want to sleep! Yeah, 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 yeah! Go away. Oh, go away. Yeah, you need to go away. Ah. Why are you so happy about that? So now let's see. When we create the roof, how high does this beam need to be? I 
think three. Let's test it. Let's start over here. What? Oh. <sighs> ah, thank you. Uh, but this, this is not the way we want to be. So we need to connect it over here. And over here. And now we will create some support structures. But we'll remove them afterwards. And we're making some of those. Because unfortunately you can't make slopes. Slope blocks. Which seemingly go down. I'll show you what I mean. Like this. So we create the illusion with those blocks. Which looks better. Maybe we'll place them everywhere? Let's see. Does this look good? I think we're onto something here. Now let's go on top. And here we'll remove the top part again. And build it like this. Uh, maybe we can leave it over here. Although... No. I wanted to go around the corner, but... Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, this little problem, it sticks out. So what we do, we take it and rotate it. So it doesn't stick out. And now we place this on top. Hmm. Looks a bit double. Ah, but I guess it's right. So I also like to oh, to switch it up. Like placing it like this and like this and like this. Otherwise it will always look the same, with the same pattern. I don't like that. So, the big roof will start here and go all the way to the center. That's why I'm leaving this for now. But yeah, it even looks nice from underneath. Like a wooden house should be. But now we can place some blocks over there. Ah, better from the other side. Yeah, this is the entrance area. Already looks kind of nice. I think. <laughs> Although maybe we'll use some glass. And I think here we will trick also a bit. So we'll remove this part. And now we place down the window. But remove this part. Uh, although not on this side. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Can we? Wait. Although, no, we leave it like that. This is good. This is fine. And now we remove this little notch and place the roof piece on top. So now you have the illusion of a full window. Uh, at least a bit. Okay, let's see, because we will also place the, those pieces before it, and I think this way the illusion will work. So now the main room. So the door will be over here, ah, and we need to fill the floor. Although I think we'll use different blocks. Mm, I always like to use those, but let's see. Okay, I think those will fit better because they have like the middle color of those stone blocks and those wood pieces. Okay, here we will use an advanced building technique. And now we will build the first window. And we will use the pencil tool, because if you have watched my church window video, you will know 
when you copy a window with the pencil tool, we will keep its shape. And we will create a different pattern for the top windows. So we place two down, use the pencil tool again. So we have the bottom and the top part. No, let's create the bottom one first. So it just place it down and put down the window. And we need two more of those. So we'll duplicate it. You do this with the center button. I think at, uh, on the switch it should be the minus button. Hmm. And now we have a problem. Now we place the yellow one on top. Create this. And now we create a blueprint out of this. And that's the way you can make really complex windows. Adjust it with L and R. Like this. And the orientation. And now we create one again. Let's see what happens. Houston, we have a problem. Ah. Okay, how do we do it? How do we do it? I don't like that this one looks a bit more bluish than the other one. Can we change that? I think this one looks the best from all the options. Okay, we'll do it like this. Now let's fill it up with those wood pieces. Uh, of course, no double jump. So we can't get up there, so wait. And one window over here right next to the chimney. I'm not sure about this here. I mean, this looks good. But this? Maybe better? So far, so good. Yay! Let's use a little trick. Like this, like this, like this. And now, we'll take this piece and put it in again. Hmm. Okay, we'll leave it like this for now. So now the center window is a bit bigger than the other ones, but it is in line with the with the door leading out. So this should be okay. The game is shugging again. I thought they had fixed it. Huh. Let's hope the orientation is the right way. So now let's make the stairs. 
let's hope the orientation is the right way. It kind of looks right. Okay. So now let's make the stairs. Maybe here. You can't rotate it? What the heck? I don't know, maybe like this? <laughs> I want my double jump back. <laughs> so, like this. Maybe. Uh, I think better. And now the rest of the stairs. It does fit. I can't believe it. <laughs> Sometimes I'm, I'm a bit lucky. So like this. And now we need those other pieces as well. So how do we do it? Whoops. One more time. Hmm. Hmm. What do you think? I don't know. Maybe like this? Hmm. I like that. Maybe. Ah, not on this side. I think it will make it a bit more nicer looking. A bit more death. So far, so good. Halfway done. So, let's see what we do on the second floor. Hmm. We'll do it a bit different because we want to have a nice ceiling texture. And so it doesn't stick so far out. will half all the blocks. Maybe like this. Or is the ceiling too dark? Hmm. What else? What do we have? Unfortunately, it loses all of its attributes once we change it. So now we need to do it again. Here, as you can see. Yeah, I think that's a nice effect. So now we put those on top. And we need a little toilet or bathroom. So one for the mirror, one for the th sink, one for the bathtub, one for the toilet. Uh, maybe one more. So where do we put the windows? Maybe one over here again right next to it. So we only make like one of those. 
those. And to go outside, I think we'll do the same like down below. We could just copy it. Hmm. So let's see, where do we do? This could look nice. Hmm. And this in the center of here. So when this starts here, where do the roof needs to start? Where does the roof? Also, does the roof go over the wooden beams? Hmm. I think it looks kind of good, but let's see what it looks like from the side. And then we also need to adjust those pieces. But I think it works. Okay. Then we take all of those and rotate them. So they are not sticking out. Those are fine. There is no roof. This will be the balcony. And now we will put out some more of those. Oh! Wrong direction. Okay. Okay. Well, I never said it would be easy. <laughs> it's a bit <laughs> advanced, this build. So, one over here, there, there, and there. And we can go all the way. And put this over there. So it's connected. Yes. I want the piece. Ah. Thank you. Whoops. <laughs> I wanted to glide before I was in the air. So better. Go over there too. Like this and like this. And now we remove them again. Hey! <laughs> so, but we will put one over there and one over there. So it looks nicer. Whoops. This will be over here and this will be the end piece, yes. I don't know if it's his fault, but <laughs> I couldn't get up. So, like this. Yeah, this is the end piece. And we need to be careful so the pillars go up again. And this also. I ju I'm just hoping I don't forget anything. <laughs> because this is a bit more complex. <laughs> so, but this should still connect to over here. Like this. And this should also connect. So, we remove this one. This one and this one. So it sticks out a bit. And this one also needs to be fixed. Like this. This is alright. Ah, but still not looking nice. Better. 
so far so good. So let's sleep. Hey Mero. Hey, wake up. Wake up. Look over there. Lulu is naked. Look over there. Look over there. What? Lulu? Hmm. I'll go check it out. Yeah, you should. And then beat her up. <laughs> 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 and he really went in that <laughs> direction. <laughs> ah, I hope he had fun with Lulu. So wait, why is this like this and this like this? Like this. I think I will also make those windows over here. I mean, in the staircase it looks nicer like this. And now, mm, what do we do over here? I think I'll use a little trick and to finish off the roof, we place this in front. Ah, does this look nicer? This is my top priority rule. First do it and then check later if it looks good. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it does need something next to it. Ah. Perfect. All the weight. Or does the roof go all the way over here? Hmm. I think it goes all the way over here. Yep. Yeah, so we destroy those three pieces. No, this right. So in the center of this... Here is the center of the roof. This was it. So it goes up one more. One more. And one more, I think. This. Put through there. Like this? Ah, I don't know. But you know what? No, oh, we remove this one again. This one on top is enough. So now we can connect those. Oh. A stupid piece. And this is the center piece. And this will be the center beam. Finally. <laughs> Perfect. And here we also make windows. Oh, are windows okay over there? Nah, I don't think over here. Because it isn't the uh, outer wall. So, we use those as a placeholder. But remove them later. Oh, this will be a big house. <laughs> windows. Or should I leave the house like this? So it looks like it's in construction. Ah, no. <laughs> ah, I don't think those looks look nice. Oh, come on, destroy it. Of course, also the one you're standing on. <laughs> and again. It works, it works, it works. And now we go sleeping. And now and when we look up, we have all this wood. Oh. Marwolf was also looking up. No! He wants to steal my bed. No. <laughs> what should we do? A center one over here because we have the walls. Maybe this will look nicer. And 
after that I have to think about the windows. And this piece will then also be connected. So the same over there. Like this. Then connect this and this. And this one, is this the right one? Yes. And we can let them stick out a bit more. <laughs> it really looks like I'm on a... Oh, what you call it? What you call it in English? A Baustelle. What is a Baustelle? C a construction site, yes. It really looks like a construction site. So now we put those over here. ceiling is a bit higher over here. Or make some windows over here. So we've got the same orientation like the one below. And one window over here. And maybe also connect over here. No, I think not everything needs to be connected. Let's connect those because you can look down from over here. Big bad, big bad, big bad. Yes. So this is like the only wooden door for now. Ah, room. <laughs> the only room in the house. <laughs> this. So the deck. The deck will be also a different wooden block. I think this one. Needs to be a bit brighter, a bit more happy, but also it needs to survive the weather. And so we put it down over here. Lulu, what are you doing here? What? Okay, time for a trick. What? What the heck? What the heck? Ah! But I know how we can fix it. Um, mm, 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 we need this one, then we will destroy this one, take a magnet block, so always, if something doesn't fit, do it with a magnet block. Perfect. And now it should work. Ha! Ha! <laughs> This chimney is the, ru uh, the reason why this is five blocks wide, because with the chimney it's only four, and this is also only four. So we have like a really nice patio or balcony, and this one will also only be a wall. Yep. So now we need to destroy all those pieces. Mm -hmm. Because I think I did a bit too much now. Because we also have another roof going over there. I haven't showed you yet, but <laughs> that's what I planned. <laughs> I had a plan! So over here will also be a roof. Mm, but this one is the same like this one. So it is connected over here. So we need to destroy those again. Ah, I mean, uh, you can also do it like this. Wait, let's do 
destroy it. Let's see if this works. Ha! Even better. So it is really only made out of wood and a bit stone. And a bit metal. <laughs> so now we need to connect those again. So they are sticking out. Connect them again. And those go up. will be the main move. Let's hope it works. Or is it higher than the other one? Oh, this one is wrong. I think it's a bit bigger than the rest of the house. Ooh. So, but now I can close off the roof. piece starting over here now we connect it and then we need to tricks again what no what the heck like this so now we rotate it like this One, two, three a bit bigger Like this. And like this. We'll do it the professional way. Roof pieces anymore. No. Ah, roof is finished. Woo. So the chimney th should always be at least as high as the maximum size of the roof. Like this. Better. And now we can connect those again. First, let's lay those down. Bigger than I anticipated, but I think it looks fine. And also, now I have to <laughs> put those down everywhere. Or everywhere, or only on certain pieces. I don't know, maybe only over here? Like this? I think that's all for now. The interior and the river. Wait, we can do the river really fast. 
but I think I will do the interior another time. Maybe I'll wait for the modern DLC pack before I do it. So maybe there are some cool furnitures inside and then we can make another video about that. Because a retro build, I mean one of those modern furniture pieces looked a bit more retro and I think this will fit this house pretty good, pretty well. Maybe also a nice kitchen furnitures inside the pack. Let's hope for the best. Yeah, and I think that's all for now. I hope you like this build. If so, please give it a like. It's very important. Uh, the more likes my videos have, the more people get to see them and the faster my channel will grow. So likes are the most important thing of all. And uh, if you haven't already, you can also subscribe so you get notified about all my newest videos. And yeah, and I think that's all for now. I hope you like this build. So I'll see you again soon. So. Bye. Wee. Now I got a nice wooden house. Woo. <laughs> wow. So big.